Hey there friends, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to disconnect your Trust Wallet from PancakeSwap. It's actually super easy, let's do it right now. Okay, so I'm in my Trust Wallet app on my iPhone, and sometimes you need to just reset some things, potentially uh, your swaps, your confirmations aren't coming through, and sometimes it just helps to give things a little refresh. So at this point, I want to go ahead and delete my connection to PancakeSwap from my Trust Wallet. So this is assuming, obviously, you've already made that connection. What we need to do is we need to come down to Settings, the bottom right, and from settings, we're gonna click on Wallet Connect that's right there in the middle. Now, once we're in Wallet Connect, you'll see all of the swaps and things that your specific Trust Wallet is connected to. And this is going to work very similar for a lot of your other uh, swaps and exchanges and those other finance places that you may be connected to with your Trust uh, Wallet. In this case, we wanna delete PancakeSwap, so I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna cruise over, it's gonna show me when we last connected. It's gonna show me my wallet ID, and then it's also gonna tell me what network we're on. In this case, we're on the BNB Smart Chain. And then there's also that disconnect button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on disconnect. And as you can see, the active connection automatically goes away. Now that we go back to settings, I'm gonna click that again just to make sure. And as you can see, we don't have any specific connections at this time. Again, you can walk through from PancakeSwap the connection process. You can also click new connection here if you have a QR code, and that will then allow you to connect to a new exchange or swap area where you can then reestablish those connections and swap tokens. Friends, I hope that helps. Again, super simple, short video. If it, this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned, we're making a bunch more of these wallet application tutorial videos. We are hoping to really help clear things up, make it easier to use. Subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next video.